Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. And the people are talking, honey. The tea is getting hotter and hotter by the day. And today to serve us the celebrity gossip is boss of own Danny Canada. Hello. What's going on, Diva? Hello. How you doing? How, How you doing? I'm good. I am really good. I'm loving the I was the trying to get the shoes boots. in the shot. I don't know if you I'm, saw that. <laughs> yes. Super fly. I love Thank those. You. Thank you so they much. They just make me so happy because yes. I was tired earlier. Yes. But just from that segment to this segment, I'm better. Good. I'm glad. Okay. I'm glad. Well, let's jump right into this. Now, normally, right. normally, we're here to report on other celebrity gossip. Mm -hmm. Yes. Today, today, I found my name on the roster. Uh, it's it's right here. Oh it my says Mary to Madison Quad. That's what it says yeah, right there. Y'all are re Why would y'all do this to me? Because <laughs> you know what? We wanted you to do some rumor control. I work that's here. Right. You do work here. Yes. So we're going straight to the source today. Well, let's talk about Let, it. Let's talk Transparent about it. Transparent Tuesday. I said it in Transparent open. Transparent Tuesday. So on a recent episode of Married to Medicine, yes. you guys were in Mexico, and your friend, Dr. Heavenly, blurted out during a game of Shag, Mary Kill that you would want to shag Common because mm. according to her, you already did. So this was, nothing. this was very, very messy. Um, people thought she was joking, but you personally took offense to it and you clapped back and you said, this is not true. You said, I'm a professional. Absolutely. I don't have his number. There's nothing going on here. Would you like to expound and tell us more? But absolutely. I think I was very clear. Mm -hmm. I uh, actually did an exclusive uh, in uh, BET. Yep. Uh, and, and yes, I felt that it was, um, I felt that it was inappropriate, especially yes. calling yourself a friend. You don't yeah. do that. Everything is not a joke. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, your mama is this, your hair is too short, yeah. you so this, you so ugly. Those are jokes. But yeah. when you say that someone has been with someone intimately that yes. they haven't, that's not a joke. And to make it even worse, that person is actually in a relationship. Or at, at that time, I with thought that individual. Right, right yeah. ex exactly. Mm -hmm. So I did not like that. And, and I don't want anyone to smear my name right. and my good reputation. Right. You understand what right. I'm saying? So, yes. You, you I appreciate the applause, but you know, I understand, you know, I think that she's always looking for a laugh. Okay. And sometimes a laugh should not be at the expense of your friends. That's not, not, not a laugh at that magnitude, because right. it wasn't funny. Right, right, right. I, I didn't saw, find it funny at all. I saw that she apologized. Has, yes. she, has she called you? I mean, you know, she's apologized or whatnot, mm -hmm. and you know, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's apologized. I mean, even before that, like, you have to remember this came out we filmed this months ago right, and so in that you know I would pick up the phone now, this is mm -hmm. one thing about me I don't care what the people say or whatever if we're friends we have a personal relationship whether you're a blogger or whatever or a friend that I'm, I'm working with on the show or a real friend yeah I don't believe in taking anything to social media you'll never yeah. catch me clapping, clapping back, back on social media I'm too grown for that I'm a real woman I don't oh, play no. radio games you understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying I don't even play the radio seriously this is quad for real mm -hmm. um, so I picked up the phone and I called her and said, hey, you know, I see you taking shots at me now. I'm going to tell you something. You're saying we're friends. I can't keep letting this slide. Right. You know, because there was something else that she said earlier on and in then in the, she talked about some failures of mine, which yeah. all of us had them, but, you know, still triumphant. Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a person who's always going to be successful. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. All right. And then there was some things that she said that I had body augmentations. Only person that's touched my body is Jesus. Come on now, Jesus. By way of my mother. Come so on, those Christ? are just some things I yeah. just want to clear up. Uh, but you know, we'll be all right. Okay. We'll be just fine. But you know, when I play with the person, I'm not going to hide behind. I'm playing or I'm joking. I'm going to yeah. let you know this is real. Well, so when I forward. when I shoot at you, so it's different. Anyway, yes. moving right along. Let's There's a on. snake amongst the Real Housewives there of Atlanta. Is a snake what is happening here on the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast? All right. There's all this drama afoot, and it surrounds Cynthia Bailey and Nene Leakes. Of course. Of course, you know, they're kind of not really friends anymore. Yeah. And you hate to see it because they were such good girlfriends. However, uh, Yovana Monsplayer, she's a newbie to the cast, okay. she told Nini that she heard that Cynthia was talking about her. Later on, Nini went and told Tandy that someone, someone recorded Cynthia making these comments. And people are assuming that she's talking about Yovana. Ooh. So there's all this drama foot. It's going to play out later when they go on a cast trip to Toronto. Do they have audio? They have audio. Oh, that's a low down oh, dirt or something, girl. honey. And Yovana herself denied it. She was like, oh, I would, I would never, but people don't believe that. Oh, my God. Well, let's talk a little bit about Eminem, Nick Cannon, and Mariah oh Carey. Gosh. What is happening now? Is Nick trying to go and run up on Eminem? It, it's, it sounded, it's getting really messy. I don't know what year it is. I thought it was 2019, but apparently this is a throwback mm. because Nick Cannon, he dropped this diss, this diss track against Eminem. This comes, actually, Eminem started it. He had a, a track with Fat Joe, and he made some allegations about Mariah, said she was a nut job, said that she had Nick neutered, and Nick clapped back with the invitation. And on this, for some reason, Suge Knight is doing the intro. I don't know why. 
And is, uh, is Suge in jail? Yes, girl. They got audio in jail, it's, too? It's like, you have a collect call from. I'm oh, serious. It's a whole God. thing. This is it's, a mess. It's a whole, stop. It's, stop. A, it's a whole scandal. So he dropped this track. Um, he basically made all these allegations against Eminem, said that he does crack. Like, it was oh, just, it's God. getting really messy. And Nick wants Eminem to come on Wild and Out, so we'll see if that actually happens. Mm, well, honey, you stay right here, girl. I'm not moving. I don't know if I want any more of this tea, but I'm going to go ahead and sit back and more. wait for it to come back to me. We'll be right back when we return. This is hot and piping right here, my God. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, and I'm here with my girl spilling all the tea, Boss Sub Deputy Editor Danny Canada. Yes. Girl, let's get right into this. Let's okay. talk Vogue. Vogue. Pose. Yes. Culture. Yes. Cardi B. Yes. What's going on with her? All right, so Cardi is on the cover of Vogue. She is there. This is our first time where you're seeing culture on a magazine cover, so this yeah. is a big deal. Um, they were taken in these shots by Annie Leibovitz, but moreover, within the interview, Cardi is talking about her relationship with Offset, and she's talking about forgiveness. She said that basically they had some priests pray for them mm, after good. this whole cheating scandal. They prayed about it. They so reconciled. So did he cheat again? So I don't believe that. There are these okay. rumors that he was cheating with Six Nine's girlfriend, right? And some DMs popped up, but it was just all too convenient to me. It looked like it was probably fake. So I. I mean, after all this, is he really going to cheat? Okay. Did she have drama with her prior to the Cardi she have did. drama with now, the girl now before? Now, this is the girl that Cardi got in that huge fight with. Did at the strip club? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All that, all Why that do I know all the tea? Girl, because you be, you be, <laughs> you be reading. So much. <laughs> okay. Um, now, let's talk a little bit yes. about um, Lizzo. Lizzo at the basketball game. Some people don't agree with her wardrobe choosing. What do you say? Man, all right. So I like Lizzo a Come lot. Come on. I like Lizzo Ow. a lot. But she Ow. was at the Lakers game. I see game. some brown round. Yeah. Brown round. <laughs> what you can't see, see is that round. there is a hole in Lizzo's <laughs> uh, shirt dress. Yes, yes. And there is a thong showing. So people really got mm. on Lizzo about this. And they said, why would you wear this to a Lakers game? There are children here. Those seats are dirty. That is unsanitary. And moreover, for well, me. Well, they say they treat the seats like they treat the pole at the strip club. They, they spread they, Spray it down a little bit. Yes. I don't believe that. I don't you don't believe that? No, no. They don't have time for well, all those seats. Isn't fashion a, an expression of who it you is. are? It is. However, although that outfit wasn't even cute. It wasn't even fashionable. And that's my thing. It'd be different if this was like hot couture, but it was just literally like a shirt and a cutout in the back for the butt. And it's like <sighs> Lizzo. All so right basically, then. Lizzo said people are upset because she's plus size and they're hating on her body. But that's Don't hate on her body, honey. She's a big, <laughs> fat woman. Won't you back that, that thing up? up. <laughs> All right. So for more stories like this and more, you definitely want to go to Boss Up on Instagram, the official Boss Up. And the conversations always continue on all social media platforms at Sister Circle TV. <laughs> Baby, won't you back, back that thing, thing up? up. <laughs>